All right, what's up? I'm back again. Uh, and I wanted to discuss my man, Willie McGinnis. And if y'all know who Willie McGinnis is, uh, you know where I'm going. You know where this is heading. If you don't, I'm going to give you just a brief a brief synopsis on who Willie McGinnis is. Willie McGinnis is a three-time Super Bowl winning linebacker that played for the New England Patriots. He signed a lucrative contract with the Cleveland Browns to, to end his career or to close out his career. Um, he's a, he's a, was also a pro bowler. He's a native of Long Beach, California, and he also went to uh, USC and played for the Trojans, which is a storied uh, for, uh, college program. And I wanted to talk about how he had a he had an incident, an unfortunate incident, and um, this is what can potentially happen when you we all always talk about logical or being logical versus being emotional. And so when you generally, when you're logical, you can think things out. Um, logic paints it and makes it, it's white or black. That's it. There's no in-between. Emotion is different because you can misinterpret things or you become so uh, enraged and you, and you get caught up in your emotions. And so then you act out, of, act, you act out of emotion. And right before you realize it, you've done some damage. And so if you go to Twitter or you go to Google or somewhere else on YouTube, you probably see the incident. And um, my my perceptions of, of Willie is a, a, a hardworking guy, a, a consummate professional. Uh, this guy, he started out, um, you know, once he ended his career, sometimes players have a difficult task because they haven't finished their degree or they just don't have, know what they really, really want to do. This guy was smart. He was able to to get a job, land a position, a highly coveted position at the NFL Network when the NFL Network had recently just started. This had to be back probably in the the early, the mid 2000s, probably, if, if memory recalls. Because the NFL Network, I think, came out in 03 or 04. But anyway, after his career, he was able to, to become a, a mainstay on the NFL Network. And so, if you turn to the NFL Network, not now, but up until that, up until the incident. You can see Willie McGinnis. And so he had straightforward analysis, analytical guy. He knew the game. He's an X's and O's guy, a film study guy. You can learn a lot from Willie McGinnis. So needless to say, very impressive, brother. And um, we don't know, I don't know, right? And eventually it'll come out that um, he got into an altercation with, with another guy at a restaurant or at some club in, uh, I think it was in LA, and how uh, it's on camera. Right. And let's let's talk about cameras for a sec. This camera not going to lie. A camera will not lie. It's just going to display what's there and, and what you saw. Or if you go look at the video, you'll see Willie McGinn. It's, it's his tall brother. I think about six, four, six, five. He walks up, the guy's sitting down and then he kind of leans in the guy's face and they exchange something. So to me, it looks like they, they probably knew each other or at least are aware were aware of each other. And before you know it, as soon as you got in the guy's face, Willie just started letting letting loose, all right? And I got I got a couple issues with that. Number one, the dude sitting down. So if you go if you got to do what you got to do and square up, right? Do it one on one because Willie had an entourage, and Willie's entourage I think was four or five people, which makes him Willie McGinnis the eighth, the fifth, or sixth person. They five or six deep. They beat one guy up. I mean, they, they and this guy trying to hang with him, but I don't care who you is or who you are, you're not going to be able to hang with four or five guys. You might hang with one or two. You might kind of hang with a third, but you're going to get tired, right? And, I mean, they just, they letting loose on the guy. And people kind of looking and seeing, like, damn, they fighting. And um, I, I can't see it in the video. I'm going to go back and look at the video. It is alleged. And so, I mean, alleged that Willie hit the guy with a bottle. And so if you've ever been hit by a bottle, seen somebody hit with a bottle in the club or somewhere, bottles hurt and bottles can cause a lot of, inflict a lot of pain. And so near the end of the video, you can see the guy kind of trying to collect himself. But it's, even though it's, it's, it's in black and white, right? Because the club is dim, you still can see him. You can tell, I mean, he, I mean, he, that dude was messed up. And how um, this 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 outburst of emotion may have caused may cause, and I, hopefully it don't right maybe the NFL network or the NFL will just say hey we're gonna put you on hiatus we're gonna let this thing uh, blow over and you Willie you gonna write a check and it's not it's not and it's not the NFL talking 
Willie, you will likely be in civil court. You already got to deal with the criminal aspect, but now you're going to be in civil court and you're going to run that man in a bag. You will. And I don't care if it was over a woman or over some, some street shit or whatever it is, right? It, it, it's unbecoming of you and anybody else if you lose your emotion. You see what's happening with Will Smith. Uh, if y'all ain't checked out Emancipation, it's, in my opinion, it's a great movie. I'll do a video because I keep hearing folks talk about we, they're tired of seeing slave movies, right? But they're not tired of seeing BMF. They're not tired of seeing Power. They're not seeing. They're not, they're not tired of seeing Snowfall. They're not tired of seeing none of that. None of that stuff that creates a stereotypical uh, perception of us. But they're tired of seeing that. I'm gonna do a video on that later. But um, I lost my train of thought because I was going in. But how Willie um, uh, may have essentially uh, ended his his media career, and I'm certain because he's been tenured. I'm certain he probably made at least at least over a million. Right. And it looked like he managed his money. He probably hadn't even really touched his contract money. Probably not. But he has residual income. You know, he's five years in the league, so he has a pension. So he was he's financially secure. And yet you are fighting in a club. You're 50 years old. And then also in the video, he's sagging. Right. So you're a 50 year old dude. You got where's your belt? And so so if you want to come from y'all want to come for me, that, that's fine. You're a grown ass man. Pull your pants up and be the consummate professional that you are on television. Be the same way that you are. Stop trying to keep it real with the homies who ain't got shit going for themselves. I'm not going to be loyal to nobody from my neighborhood because know what? I put in the work. I put in the work. Not you. If I choose to break bread with you or pour it up or just try to show you a good time, that's cool because I'm just showing my love, but I don't owe you anything. And so I think for whatever, whatever incident, prior that led up to that and again i don't know or n nobody really knows only the people that was there or the two combatants that's the dude and william again knew why they got into this altercation but it just it's just it's a black eye literally and he's gonna have to deal with a lot of legal legal issues on the civil and on the criminal side so hopefully he has his team together in terms of his defense attorneys and if he got a cop a plea you know, depending on depending on what he's looking at, right? Because he seemed to be maybe he was an outstanding citizen, um, charity work and things like that. I think that should play into an account. He may have had just had an outburst or just an emotional outburst, which led to a physical altercation. But they did jump the guy, so that's hard for me. That's hard to to. I still respect him, but that's kind of like ah, that's some bullshit. So you know, and it's hard to kind of say that. Oh well, you you know you you're a man when you got when y'all still jumping people. And that goes for anybody. If you gotta if you gotta sucker punch somebody or jump somebody, all y'all are punks. You are. Simple as that. Do how we used to do, mano a mano. If you if if it comes to that one on one and you fight it out, and then whoever loses, you lose. That's it. And to say, yeah, I gave it my best. I lost. We we ended here. The feud ends here. That bad negative energy ends here. So, in conclusion. <clears throat> We can learn a lot and we're more at our best when we logical versus being emotional. Again, William McGinnis in this incident, Will Smith, there are countless other incidents where people have lost their emotion and it has been expensive or, or for whatever reason, it has been detrimental and hard to come back from. Will they both rebound? I believe they both will. Um, no pun intended on, on the will part, but, but will, I think, eventually bounce back. Uh, William McGinnis, it remains to be seen. We may have seen him on in, in his last uh, role on the NFL Network, uh, and if, if so, that, it'll be sad because he had he had a great career. He had a great career as a player, and not only that, after the you know after the games or after the football, he had a great career and uh, as a, a television host or as a uh, a commentator or a analyst on the NFL Network. So drop a uh, drop a like if you liked the video. Let me know y'all thoughts. Don't forget to uh, sub the video or sub the channel. And if you like this commentary, you can share the video as well. This is All Things Considered. This is Bearded Aquarian. And I'll see y'all on the next video. I'm out.